interesting to see what you get. And when I did my first cross, I still remember it was whatever I had in bloom, you know. <laughs> and <laughs> I guess that's probably what most people do to see if you can do it. But you need to have goals when you're hybridizing. And um, you might get lucky if you just do that, make a cross of anything, and get something that's nice. Um, but chances are, if you if you pay attention to what your goals are, you'll come up with something that you want. And some of the goals might be a fantasy flower, a bigger flower, a smaller flower, um, a flower type, some character in the flower. Like I especially like lines and dots and netting and things that make them interesting to me. Um, long lasting flowers. I like and you know some of them come and go really fast and some of them last a long time and um, strength of the stem is important to me I hate a flower that's a plant that has floppy stems and won't hold the flower up and manageable foliage is another thing I like I don't like plants that are all crimped up and curled over and just don't do nice or are fertilizer sensitive and so I, I uh, work on that, and I like one that has a nice rosette and looks pretty. Foliage is nice. So let me just show you a couple things here. Um, I just I brought some of these crosses that I've just seen bloom out. Now these right here came from the same seedling, and look how isn't that interesting? How you can get some that are different. This was Gator's Tail and Little Tequila, Little Tequila. Little Tequila is similar to this, but it doesn't have the lines in there. And this one, everybody probably knows, one of the parents was Sylvia. And the other one was Emily, which is this. And what I've noticed is that the purple is lighter on this one. This is the first one I've seen bloom, and I haven't seen any others. I'm waiting to see what else. And I don't know how many of you are familiar with May Lee, Bristol's May Lee, but I made a cross with it. It has a gorgeous double flower, just like this one, but the foliage is so fertilizer sensitive and just never looks good. It just always is terrible. And so I wanted to see if I could get a flower like that with better foliage. So these are what I came up with. They came out of the same seed pot. This one is my favorite so far. Beautiful. And so now I have to grow out the um, plants for a while and see how the foliage does. <laughs> Another thing that some people do is grow for shorter or taller stems, like Bristol. I remember reading <coughs> once where he said he likes the shorter stems, and probably that is a good idea, maybe for packing it for business and stuff. So, and this one is, um, kind of different. These came from Petticoats, which is very similar to this, and Spooky, which is a real dark purple. And uh, so, and I have several variations of those in it. This was one of my very first, these came from the same seed pod, can you believe that? And this is my Lulu, that's my dog. And um, Neither of the parents were um, variegated foliage. And plus, this is kind of a unique variegated, it's what I call mosaic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, um, so I don't know where it came from, if it's just a sport or if it had it in its background somewhere. And this one, so those were all three among many others. So, but that, so that's just to show you what you can kind of get. Here? Pardon me? That bird, that purple with the bird. This is party hat. Mm -hmm. And these all came from the king and Persian carpet. And you can kind of see here, isn't that different? Yes. So, so it's really interesting what you can get. Okay, I'm going to show you how to actually make the cross. And um, I brought Emily because she consistently has really a lot of um, pollen.
So, and some of them do and some of them don't. And what I do is take off the flower. And then you have the pistil here. And so, okay, if I'm gonna, all right, let's say I'm gonna take um, pollen from this one. And so what I'm thinking is, maybe this would, this is a very pretty flower, maybe it could get some netting from this. Or, and they both have nice foliage and kind of nice stems. So I would be happy if I could get a flower like that with some more netting or something in it. So anyway, 